Hello, this video uh, I'm going to show you how to upgrade to our UB54 series LED. Uh, this is a Toshiba uh, LTM15C458M. This panel has been popular using on all the touch screens on industrial, control, or medical users. Um, first, we had to remove this tool backlight reflector out. Uh, if you look carefully, there's two two screws, one here, one here, the two small fit of screw. Just remove it, take the screw out, and you're gonna hold a wire and slowly just pull it out. Just one. Um, do the same thing on the other one and uh, unscrew the small tiny Phillips screw and uh, just hold the wire slowly, slice out. So uh, this is uh, to uh, reflect it. Because uh, this Toshiba screen is using the uh, 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 four lamps, two on the top, two on the bottom. So the old reflector, we're gonna reuse the old reflector because old reflector is big enough to uh, to hold our 54 LED strips. You see that you can hold inside. So um, let's set that aside first. Uh, here's the LED kits. As we said before, we always test it before we install back to the LCD screen. So just connect to it and everything's good. All LED lights up, no problem, ready to be installed. So I'll just connect it first, set it aside. Now you see the old, old uh, reflectors, um, we need to remove these tips and then took the backlight lamp out. You can either cut it, the easiest way I would say would be cut it. Just uh, use a blade to cut it. And cut it. After cut it, you're gonna took the wire, loosen up the wire, and we're gonna start on this end. Tip up a little bit. Okay, loosen up a little bit. We could uh, do like this. I should see it now. See, take it out, and then do the same thing on this side. Just be really carefully. Take it out. Okay, now it's out. One. And the other one is the same thing, and uh, just repeat the same procedures. You take it out, and you get an LED backlight lamp. See LED backlight lamp. Now you remove a uh, double side tape cover. Just remove it out and then lay it. See that lay it white here. Yeah. Just put it here and then you kind of like the push it down. Now it's done. Then you just slice tip it up put the screw back and that's it you're gonna repeat the other one the other reflector the same procedure we just show you and that's it and uh, inverter is, depends on you you can mount here or or like connect like here or you can just mount back to where the original inverter uh, 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 mounting brackets either way is that it thank you